start off, Mr. Sashank Shivastav, he is Executive Director of Maruti Suzuki India Limited. He can see us, we can hear him, so that's how it is, guys. Sashank, you can just say hi to everybody, everybody is there watching it. Hi, everyone. Uh, yes, uh, great to be here today. Great to great. be here today. Then, uh, then of course, uh, we have, uh, then we have Mr. Swainthar Gill. He's a CEO for Hero, Hero Electric. Mr. Swainthar, if you can just, yeah, your name is right there. And Hi. we have Mr. Naveen Soni. Pleasure he's, to be here. Hi. Yeah. Mr. Naveen Soni, he's a senior VP sales and service for Toyota Closter Motors. And uh, Mr. Devashish Handa, VP sales and marketing after sales from Suzuki Motorcycle India Limited. There was zero sales absolutely last year. The whole, I'm sure you must be rubbing your eyes in disbelief. Because in your career, I'm sure you've not seen anything like that. So, what are the customer-centric, you know, initiatives you do to boost the sentiment back, Mr. Shashank? Very right. Actually, we never expected. Uh, I've been here in this industry for 30 years. Uh, uh, I I had never expected that that we'll have a zero sale in any month. Uh, but surely, uh, you know, these events like this happen probably once in 100 years. And uh, we are just, uh, um, uh, you know, we happen to be there and we have to face it. Uh, but uh, yeah. unlike uh, many people who are, uh, you know, sort of uh, getting fearful yeah. about this zero, I call it the power of zero. Do you think an increased demand for personal mobility, you know, will help the automotive industry bounce back because of the time that now people want their own third phase? Do you think equal the sentiments of Mr. Sujan? Uh, okay, the thing goes like this: that even if there is a uh, increase in personal mobility because of uh, you know people's uh, mindset issues, or uh, this is something that we, something we that are not looking for, because uh, uh, from a point of view that the consumer is forced to buy a car or consumer is forced to sit inside a vehicle that he otherwise could have chosen uh, uh, shared mobility, etc., is is something that uh, I think uh, does not give joy to. Uh, we don't want to hold a gun on somebody's head you know, sell a car. Honestly, that is not something that we desire. We want people to be happy. We want people to be coming and enhancing their mobility needs uh, by buying vehicles and then enjoying the the, 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 the whole experience of, you know, owning a vehicle. Sure. Mr. Gil, uh, going to fuel pump has been a nightmare, you know, especially right now. Do you think that, are you expecting a really rapid growth in electric vehicles once the lockdown is over? Because people have experienced all sorts of things. Even going to a grocery store when you go to a fuel pump, you can't. I mean, that will aggravate the sales for electric motors. Do you think that, or what's your take on that? Yeah, Ramesh. Uh, certainly, in some segments which are already yes, which are two wheelers and small cars, especially two wheelers were considered to be personal segment. There were very little of uh, public transport in that, like taxis and all. And we are beginning to see a sort of an interest through various uh, of our members in association who have come out with many schemes and that uh, customers have started asking for those vehicles and they are waiting for showrooms to be uh, opened. So certainly I see there is a big change and that will remain for some months or some one or two years before the old orders of uh, graduating to public transport sets in again. Uh, there are three revelations that are coming out of this catastrophic crisis that we are in. That how come uh, the, a small microscopic virus can play havoc with the hills, right? Mm -hmm. And second is, how come the nature can bounce back if there is lack of economic activity, even for a few weeks? So, mm -hmm. if you put together these two, guys who are going to buy vehicles may have in their mind these two factors. Let me go for an economic alternative at this point yeah. of time. And second, let me think that can I do something which is good for the environment? Uh, my take is uh, quite similar that uh, what we call the commuter motorcycle in our category, which is the lower end of the pyramid, that is something which should benefit uh, once uh, the customers start coming in again uh, right. after so about initial, initial few uh, weeks or a month or so, uh, we would expect the recovery on the commuter side to be a little faster. How have you been keeping tail in this time? You know, like it's a personal question, like yoga, meditation, reading, watching. Without the usual business or normal life, because I'm sure in normal life, everybody like everybody like you to get a time like this will be like nightmare. But 
So now, how are you been keeping? What have you been doing? Meditation and reading, in any any case, uh, even before the COVID happened. So uh, uh, it, it was always a it's always a, a challenge to keep uh, mind, uh, you know, on an even keep. So we 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 I do try to do that, but of course, uh, uh, we, uh, this uh, COVID thing and the lockdown has actually given us uh, a much more. Uh, it's very it's it's given a additional importance to uh, activities like meditation and reading for for me especially. Well, uh, like uh, I used to take pride in uh, you know thinking that I was among the first uh, mobile phone user or a laptop user, but suddenly in the last six weeks i find that i i'm digitally and virtually i was illiterate uh, with this zoom and skypes and so many devices available for last so many years in my organization i was not at all using it the way it has been used in the last six weeks and the potential of these devices to make our life simpler get more on time on our hand and do it administratively in a much better way is such a revelation that perhaps most of us won't go back to the business as usual and make full use yeah. of these devices. This whole thing, when it started, I still remember a friend of mine called me and he says, welcome to the retirement world. Uh, that's how you <laughs> be when you get retired, you know, sitting at home, doing nothing. But I think I, I could prove him wrong by, you know, keeping myself busy and engaged. <laughs> uh, that was, and sitting at that home was, and still working. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that was the first uh, change point. The second one was yes. Uh, my wife told me that uh, it's a, a good time. You know, you could start uh, restart your doing your job. Recently, we had shifted our office from the office, city to the factory, and that's the time where the last ten years we were doing yoga in the office. Uh, at the end of the office, um, we had some instructor. She used to come regularly, and uh, we connected with her. And uh, like Mr. Gill said, we also got ourselves updated on which platform will be the best. And finally, Google do or turn out to be blessing in disguise in that uh, yeah. connect. Read a little bit of sociology and uh, history, so don't get a uh, lot of time to do that. So caught up with a very interesting book, that was one initially. And then also realized that working from home, um, I used to feel, I used to envy some colleagues of mine who had this flexibility of working from home, my some college friends. And now working from home, I realize it's not all that envious. It's quite a pain, actually. It's much better <laughs> to be at work and work than to be at home and work also. So, how, how are you planning to reinvent yeah. you know, customer test drive? Will you look at door to door test drives in a more rigorous way? Like, you know, or what are your thoughts about it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's not just, uh, um, uh, Ramesh, it's not just about uh, test drive alone. Um, you know, when you look at the auto journey from the time when a person decides to buy a car or is thinking of buying a car to the final delivery point, actually this entire journey you can break into 28 touch points. So there are 28 touch points a customer has. And uh, the touch points uh, are, were going, the, the trend in the last three, four years was that they were going digital in any case. Right. Uh, so right. those, I think, yeah, depending on the OEM and depending on the dealers, etc., about 17 to 21 of those touch points are already digital. Do you think giving more discounts will help to get more people to the showrooms? Or do you think liquidity is trapped uh, right now? People have. I think uh, the demand, uh, we have to understand the psyche of the customer. You know, It's not luring the customer into the showroom by offering him something additional. If a customer has made up his mind, he will look for offer. But for at first, he, you have to understand uh, before cry, before the COVID uh, situation and now. Often people say that, you know, that whatever has happened before, can it be multiplied or, you know, can it be taken over in via digital or contactless? Media? My answer to them is it's not about equating what was happening before COVID to after COVID. You are making a big mistake because before COVID, the customer response was different. There was no thought in his mind or like a while ago we were discussing that the car is a safe way to you know, move from point A to point B. Quick advice that came from our head office and I think it's very valuable. And uh, they, they they suggested to us and it came from our uh, big boss, Mr. Akio Toyoda. And he said that um, we need to look at uh, work from three points of view. Everything that we've been doing has to be now bucketed into three buckets. Stop, continue and change. 
everything that we were doing just because we were doing it previously does not mean that i have to do this in the very well point very well point there would be some things that we have to stop and it will be a very painful thing because you look around in your organization people you tell somebody that tomorrow onwards your division is not required i'm not saying he's he's not having a job because toyota does not uh, believe in that sort of philosophy what we are saying is if your job from a consumer point of view is less important let us move to something which actually can actually is the need of the hour so stop is that category continue is very few things will fall into continue category but still there would be something and change is where most of the buckets will uh, job will bucket into does this lockdown affect your motor sports plan for india sure it does but just want to hear from you <laughs> yeah absolutely it, it does uh, we have been uh, scaling up the our efforts on the jixar cup it has become a one of the most popular motor sport events in the country now uh, along with jk tires but this year i am sure with the kind of abstinence if i may use the word we may have to observe in terms of you know mass congregations and stuff like that uh, we may have to uh, reconsider and relook at our plans for motor sports for the year Mr. Gill, uh, you showcased a range of two wheelers at the Auto Expo. Does your launches stay on track? Does it change? I mean, does it differ? Uh, so far, uh, yeah. So uh, in the Auto Expo, also uh, whatever we showed was our, uh, except for the uh, the super bikes. Uh, everything else the plan continues there is no change so far on anything tell tell us tell us one book and one show that you watched which is very motivational during this time this is sushank from you is a book by roger penrose it is a, he is a mathematician and he talks about uh, um, he is given some theories of how the universe came in and what uh, what guides the movement of celestial bodies etc so uh, that book i feel uh, gives you takes you in a different wor- world away from uh, from this uh, uh, this world and and uh, of our normal world and it makes you think how small we are and uh, you know you feel a little bit more philosophical my wife is uh, an avid reader and she is my coach and came mentor and guru in that regard every sunday we have some family sessions uh, on skype again nowadays and uh, you know then we can understand uh, the philosophy of life maybe similar to what mr pun roger penrose is saying but this one is said by uh, shri krishna so i think uh, yeah. close to my heart and i i can relate to this much better uh, for the first time in life i went uh, on to what is called ott and i saw on netflix i saw uh, money heist and yeah. on one side on one Very side amazing. and on the other side uh, the crown which is the biography of queen elizabeth ii the entire automotive industry draws conclusion from your say now uh, has this lockdown going to affect your plan launches i mean are you going to delay any launches or you going to stick to the plan um uh, yeah. uh, we had announced at the auto expo this was supposed to be yeah. launched yeah it was supposed to be launched in uh, march yeah. that obviously has got uh, delayed um uh, because of this uh, covid thing um, but i suppose uh, uh, in the long term uh, 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 you know the planning for uh, for 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 new models etc is uh, as intact uh, is, is is intact because in the long term we are uh, quite bullish about indian uh, auto uh, growth the long term so we may have these blips i'm saying mr sashank is not disclosing the plans because you are the panel <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> If you're reading the media, then I think there wouldn't be any concern on that front. <laughs> Can you tell us some? What are you thinking for dealer incentives, or you not trying to do something for them? When we drew dealer balance sheets at our end, you know, in terms of you know how it will look uh, during this uh, troubled times, we could see that from dealer to dealer, uh, uh, situation was different because somebody's debt to equity ratio is different, somebody's borrowings are very different, somebody's interest cost is high, so on and so yeah. forth. so basically but we still wanted to make sure that uh, thanks to at, at the end of it when he gets this covid package he is at least able to take care of his uh, uh, cash flows for 30 days 
because at that point of time the visibility was 30 days you know of the first lockdown when it happened so basically we did that uh, we feel that you know that dealerships are the most important aspect of uh, uh, deal of the companies and uh, you and i don't actually stand in, in in front of the customer in terms of conveying what the brand stands for he or she defines what the brand stands for so it's very important that he, uh, we respect our dealer partners and the dealer partners in turn respect their own employees because again for him for the dealer principal it's not him who's standing again in front of the customer most of the times it's going to be somebody else you know his front line who's standing so we have to give the confidence to the last man standing that you know he he is important when do you think we will get back to normalcy i know difficult question but whatever is the best i think it's uh, sorry if i can go first i think it's a uh, different uh, uh, two different things you know that you're asking uh, as far as uh, uh, may 17th is concerned whether the whether the uh, uh, how should i say the the uh, lockdown will stop or no it's for the government of india to decide and i'm sure they'll make a quick decision and a right decision in that regard but let's understand one thing you know, the virus is not going to go away anywhere on 17th of uh, this month the virus still remains and therefore it, it at best it would be the readiness of the hospitals that will guide uh, whether we are able to you know extend this uh, lockdown from 17th of may or no as far as uh, the new normalcy that you're talking about i think uh, what we have to understand is again and again i say this you know that is no point benchmarking the past for the future uh, for me the new normal would be you know when the fear goes out of the mind whether it is due to something that we discover as an injection or we get used to it and Agreed. that is a day that will be normal you know until that time it's like it's this thing the virus with you have to factor into your strategies factor into your working and go ahead mr sashan would you like to give a date or timeline you think that we will go towards normalcy towards is not going to go away quickly it's people say it's going to come back again um, and uh, until we all build the world do a herd immunity as they say either through vaccination or to uh, you know large population getting well after getting infected uh, till that time i think we will need to learn to live within with this new set of requirements for for our safety and for the safety of all consumers and i really like his um, uh, comment that the normalcy is when the mind becomes free of all uh, these uh, uh, the, the, these problem which covid represents so i think uh, uh, going forward we have to live with this new normal that's all i have to say on this great this is the poll answer can you, can you all see this i don't know if you can see this yes 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 yeah. so interesting 53% people will wait till july 29% will not go 18% will go and this is for the 18% which is a good sign <laughs> so uh, i think i think this is very interesting i think this will give you a perspective of how consumers are thinking about this so much thank you thank you thank you sir